Hey guys, this is just another video on um, comparing some software. This time it's Windows Live Messenger Alternatives. Uh, basic, why would I want to do this? Well, basically, there are uh, many other clients available which are a lot less resource intensive and much more customizable than the main client. And if you see what I mean when I go to sign in on a test account, I've just got one bot added here. Uh, which is just going to be used to test when I when basically you talk to them. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of extra crap that's loaded that you really don't need. All this ad advertisements. There's advertisements even on the client. There's a toolbar here. You just really don't need this stuff. Um, so if we have a look at some other ones to see if we can make this more interesting. If we look into the task manager uh, and have a look at how much RAM it's using, you can see it's using 59 megabytes of RAM at the moment so that's that's quite a bit for such such a simple client anyway we'll be going through AMSN, Pigeon and Miranda and we'll, I'll give you a warning on the Windows Live installer uh, with AMSN these are all clean installs, haven't modified them in any way uh, we're at version 0.97 on AMSN to a full install AMSN I believe stands for Alvaro Messenger. Press finish here. It leaves a nice little icon here. Looks exactly like Windows Live Messenger. I think the aim here is to yes, the aim here is to look as much like Windows Live Messenger as possible. So if we sign in on my test account. Uh, straight away there is a box that's popped up saying that there's no updates available for this client which is strange because I've only just downloaded it but as you do it's good to see they're updating their, um, their, their, their different things so I suppose in a way that's a good thing uh, straight as we sign in it looks a lot like MSN we've got a display picture here name here um, nothing really at the bottom just showing you the connection well, when you connect it, it looks like it must be it must be a log I think um, Double click that. Talk to come back. Talk to smarter child again. If we say hey. Uh, fairly instantaneous. We've got quite a few buttons here. We've got uh, from left to right. We've got um, change the font. They've got uh, their own emoticon set. Uh, voice clips, which I believe was introduced in MSN Messenger seven seven. I think um, they've got winks here, but you need to download them. Uh, nudges inviting people, sending files and this has webcam support so you can actually send your webcam which is uh, good really for this client oh, if I just go back again say hello again so then we can see the resource that it's using now with AMSN you don't it doesn't have AMSN.exe as a process for when you want to end the program uh, what they've actually got here is it's called WISH I'm not sure why, but it is. So that's using 37 megabytes of RAM at the moment. So if we close this and close this, it seems to be about half of what MSN was using. Uh, sorry, Windows Live Messenger was using. If we go on to Pigeon, Pigeon I believe used to be called Game. It needs the uh, generic toolkit, I believe. There seems to be a lot of protocols that it can use. Uh, AOL Instant Messenger, MSN Instant Messenger, MySpace Instant Messenger and Yahoo Instant Messenger so we don't want these we just want MSN for the time being. It's got spell checking as well so that's that's quite good. Okay if we install this do I want to reinstall the generic toolkit? No. Yeah Pigeon seems to be quite popular with quite a few people so there are several YouTube videos I think on customising it. If we Yes, if we run this now, yes, Pigeon's on 2.3.1. So it's, um, I've previously signed into this, so it's asking me for my password for my test account. History plugin requires login. So you can actually log your chats using this client. And you see, we're straight away we're in. It's a very, very lightweight. There's not much here. It shows you the status here. I think this is for your picture. Uh, if we just talk to Smart Child, oh, you can see the mouse over. It says if he has me, but he's a bot, so he won't have me on his contact list. And I haven't blocked him, so that's good. 
doesn't show the display picture in the um, contact list. So we just talked to Smart Charlie. We noticed in, the, in this box it's very, very lightweight. All you've got here is Smiley's insert. What can you insert? A link horizontal rule. And you can change your font. So yeah, there's, there's not much here. So if we say hello or hello, you can see it's got sounds enabled. Uh, so that's basically all you see. It's just time stamped. Uh, oh, I see. You can you can show them or take them off if you want to. Uh, you've got a choice of no instant message, find, view log, save as, clear scroll back, send file, add buddy pounce, which I, I assume is a nudge or something like that. Um, oh, okay. That that seems to be uh, uh, some sort of notification when people sign in. Um, buddy pounce. Let's see. Okay then. Uh, yeah, so that's basically Pigeon. Pigeon's using 26 megabytes of RAM. All these clients are free, by the way, so they're all downloadable. I, I'll, I'll, I'll provide, uh, <laughs> I'll provide some uh, links in the description. Okay, as I've closed this, it says that it's encountered a problem and needs to close. So, if you get the same as me, then, well, hopefully I'm not the only one, but that that doesn't seem to be a problem doesn't seem to be a problem. So. Uh, Miranda I am. As long as it doesn't do that during a conversation I'll be happy. I, I agree. Uh, Miranda I am. Wow, there's a lot of protocols here. AOL, Gadu, Gadu, some of these I haven't even heard of. ICQ, IRC, Jabba, MSN and Yahoo. We don't want any but MSN or the import plugin. Um, we just have desktop shortcut. Still. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, so I think Miranda is known for being very lightweight. This is showing a personal message which which the, you can have in your MSN client. It looks like it's got a load of... Uh, it's added a few extra ones, but hey. Um, Smart Child. Smart Child at Hotmail.com. You can see his display picture here. Uh, it looks like there's absolutely nothing else, so I assume a lot of this is very, very customizable. You can add your own extra stuff in. There's hardly any buttons. There's just user menu, view users details and view users history. So an extremely lightweight client. I haven't seen anything as lightweight as this. So let's see how much it's using. It must not be using 10 meg. That's that is very, very small. Um, yeah, that's I th if I go into the options, quickly show you the options, there is so many different things you can do on this um, Go to the top on this thing. You can change ev practically every colour you see. Contact list, background, list text, so many different fonts, status bar. Uh, I won't even go into each one because there's so many, there's just no point. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this is comparing this to the main Windows Live Messenger box, it's a lot more tidy and a lot less resource intensive, which in turn will speed your computer up, so that's good. I've noticed that when you type, if I type something quickly and close the box, with, um, ah, oh, <laughs> you reply too quickly. Try again, shall we? If I type it and close the box, it doesn't actually pop up when, when someone said it to you. What it does is it flashes in the corner, so you double click that, and then it opens up what they've said which is different from main MSN because that just pops up in your taskbar whether you like it or not. Um, yeah, there's no ads here as you can see, it's just got my contacts here in a very very small box, it's taken up about a quarter of my screen here, so yeah, that, that's Miranda I am. Um, before I finish the video, just warning you on uh, Windows Live Installer, because when you go to install the official one, when it, when it responds, <laughs> Respond! Ah, here we go. Windows Live Messenger. If we go on to Windows Live Messenger, what the, what the Microsoft company seems to like to do is get you to install some extra stuff when you go to, when you want it. So, you, bas best thing to do is just untick everything. So, don't collect any information about you. Just click install. What we'll do is download this and accept it. And uh, untick anything that's that's here, basically. So, just make sure they don't steal your identity. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the thanks for watching the video. Uh, please comment and rate if you like them. I'll I'll keep doing more. Let me know if you want me to review any more. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and please subscribe.
Thanks a lot.